Where will Kyle Larry land this offseason? Let's get into this. Kyle Larry has been with the Raptors for years now. He's been there through thick and thin, and at this point, he's definitely a Raptors legend. After multiple chances of actually leaving the Raptors, he ended up deciding to stay loyal to the Raptors and re-signing with them, and ended up winning an NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors. But recently, President Masai Ujiri decided that this roster that the Raptors currently have built around Kyle Larry and Pascal Siakam just isn't enough and doesn't have enough to win an NBA championship. So Masai wants to go in the direction of rebuilding and retooling and just bringing in as much young talent as he could possibly get and just bringing that youth movement and that completely doesn't line up with Kyle Larry's timeline as Kyle Larry definitely wants to win now at this point at 35 years old so at the trade deadline last year basically everybody in the league thought Kyle Larry was going to get traded even the Raptors thought they were going to trade Kyle Larry Kyle Larry thought he was going to get traded but obviously that didn't end up working out and Kyle Larry is still in the Toronto Raptors but now going into the offseason Kyle Larry has a chance to actually leave the Raptors and go to more of a contender if he so chooses but that's basically where we're at right now. Currently, at the time of recording this, I'm just before free agency starts. And by the time this video is going to go out, free agency would have already started. And maybe we'll already know where Kyle Lowry is. But at this point, I don't know where he's going to go. But there have been a few rumors going around where Kyle Lowry could potentially go. And I'll mention where I personally think Kyle Lowry is going to go this offseason. So first, let's start with the team that he's currently on in the Toronto Raptors. So obviously, as I mentioned before, the Raptors are going in their youth movement. And they're not looking to contend, at least right now. Maybe they'll look to make the playoffs as a lower seed with the younger talent that they do have but they're also having reports that they're trying to trade Pascal Siakam potentially so obviously they're trying to move a different direction and don't believe that the current team they have could win an NBA championship so with Kyle Lowry obviously being 35 and only getting older over time obviously I don't necessarily think that this is going to be the spot that Kyle Lowry does land with I don't think he's going to re-sign with the Raptors even though he's been so loyal to them in the past I think it's definitely time for him to move on from the Raptors and I think for the Raptors perspective they don't need to pay a guy like Kyle Larry the much as much money as he would be wanting this offseason. I just don't think this match really makes much sense anymore. But with that being said, I do think that Kyle Larry does mean a lot to the Toronto Raptors organization and Raptors fans around the league. So I could definitely see at the end of his career when he gets a lot older and he's not as effective as he is currently, I could see him signing with the Raptors maybe on a one, maybe two year deal, just a cheap contract just to finish out his career with the Raptors. Because those two obviously have been playing together so long, the Raptors and Kyle Larry, and I think it's just a great match. And it's just great to see how loyal Kyle Larry has been to the Raptors, and I think that should be appreciated. But now let's talk about the next team that could be interested, and that's the New York Knicks. In a lot of my videos recently, I've been making some videos about point guards potentially and where they would go this offseason, and a lot of the videos that I made basically are the same destinations of both the Chicago Bulls, New York Knicks, Los Angeles Clippers, some other teams as well, the Miami Heat in some of the videos. But the reason why all these teams are coming up in every one of these videos is because they all need a point guard desperately this offseason, and they're all in the running for these players and this video is no different Kyle Larry definitely has some rumors of him going to the New York Knicks because first of all the Knicks desperately need a point guard this offseason that's probably the number one thing they have to accomplish is sign a true starting point guard we all saw what Alfred Payton was able to do last season for the Knicks and it wasn't good the Knicks would start out flat due to the fact that Alfred Payton just wasn't playing well whatsoever and just wasn't a great point guard for the Knicks and the Knicks really need to move on and sign a true starting point guard to help them out but also he's in a lot of rumors going to the Knicks because the Knicks have a ton of money this offseason and they are able to pay Kyle Lowry whatever he would want but the likelihood of Kyle Lowry going to the Knicks I think it's definitely there and there's definitely a chance but I think there's other teams around the league that are a lot more likely suitors for Kyle Lowry rather than the New York Knicks and now let's talk about the New Orleans Pelicans because I personally think this is the most likely case scenario for Kyle Lowry at this point if I had to guess because there's been tons of reports that the New Orleans Pelicans are going all in this offseason to try to sign Kyle Lowry and there's also been other reports that Kyle Lowry does have a lot of interest in New Orleans so there's definitely a lot of mutual interest there and then when you look at the actual team the Pelicans have going for them they definitely have a very nice young core built around Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson they also have a lot of nice up-and-coming young players around those guys so I definitely think bringing in a guy like Kyle Lowry could definitely finish and maybe complete this team somewhat and really make it into a winner this team has been projected to make the playoffs for a few seasons now and they weren't able to do it but I think if they bring in a guy like Kyle Lowry and also now this team has a little more experience under their belt playing in the league 
league for a few more years. I think they could definitely easily make the playoffs and maybe even make some noise in the playoffs. I think they have such a talented roster in New Orleans. I think Kyle Lowry fits with the Pelicans a little better than Lonzo Ball did, just due to the reason that Lonzo Ball, in my opinion, is a very good up-and-coming young player, and I think he's an amazing passer in this league, and he's always going to find the open guy. But the issue with Lonzo Ball is he doesn't necessarily have a great scoring ability from that point guard spot. In terms of his scoring ability, he's more of just a catch-and-shoot three-point shooter, which is kind of crazy to say from what his percentages was coming into the NBA, but that's what he kind of turned himself into. He's not really a guy that created his own shot that well or that consistently, and I think for this Pelicans team, who's a very young team, they need an older point guard that's a lot more experienced, similar to Kyle Lowry, that can also score the ball when the team is struggling, but also get the ball to them in the right spots, in the right situations, and make their lives easier as well. So I think in that perspective, it would take a lot of pressure off guys like Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram, and just make life easier for them, and for that reason, I think Pelicans as a team would play a lot better, and finally would make the playoffs after a few years of them projected to and not. Another team that I think actually has a great chance to get Kyle Lowry, and just really became prominent in recent memory with Kyle Lowry in terms of actually getting him, would be the Miami Heat. After somewhat of a disappointing season last year, the Miami Heat really want to look to retool and revamp this roster into more of a contender to actually win an NBA championship this upcoming season, or at least put themselves in the position to try to. When you talk about the fit for if Kyle Lowry was going to go to the Miami Heat, I definitely think it would be a pretty good fit for them, because then they would have the trio of Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo. I think that's definitely a very formidable three-guy trio, especially in the Eastern Conference, and I think they could definitely make a lot of noise and potentially get to the point where they were at in the NBA bubble again. What Kyle Lowry would provide for this Heat team is just a true starting point guard that's definitely well above average, and he's a very good scorer for that point guard position, and he's just a guy who has a ton of championship experience and just knows what to do in clutch situations, calms everyone down, get the ball to the right players in the right spots, make his teammates' lives a lot easier, make the right play in the right times in the clutch. Just that's exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. And that's something I think the Heat were missing in these previous few seasons. Now, obviously, the Heat definitely did have a guy like Goran Dragic, who's definitely a decent starting point guard in this league. He can score the ball pretty well. He's a decent passer. But the issue with Goran Dragic is he definitely had a lot of issues with his injury history, and he was out a lot of the time. And with Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry has actually been known for a guy who's been very durable and just plays a ton. So I think for the Heat team, that would be a definite upgrade for them and someone that they definitely need to look at and I think they are. And at this point in the race for Kyle Lowry, I definitely think it's really a two-team race, maybe three if you want to throw in the New York Knicks because I think the Knicks definitely have a shot. They obviously have enough money. They have a pretty good roster as well. Also, New York's very popular. If Kyle Lowry were to go there, he would get a lot more popular, obviously. But I definitely think it's really down, in my opinion, to both the Miami Heat and New Orleans Pelicans. I think they just have a way better chance of getting Kyle Lowry than the New York Knicks. I think it's very close between the two. If I had to guess, I want to give the edge a little bit to the New Orleans Pelicans, but I could definitely see Kyle Lowry going to either team. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Kyle Lowry is going to go to a team like the Pelicans, the Heat, or maybe the Knicks? Or do you think he's going to go to a team that I didn't mention in this video? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell. It really helps me out a lot. Until the next time, peace out guys.